Hi, I'm Brandon with Gaina Trucking and Excavating. I'm coming to you today with another safety reminder video. This one's going to be something unique to our particular style or our particular type of trucking. Um, not all trucking is the same, certainly. Uh, we don't spend our entire day on the pavement, so we run into some unique challenges. We're going to be talking about differentials, power dividers, PTOs, and things like that. Um, we primarily go to a lot of construction sites in our type of trucking, a lot of off-roading and things like that, which puts us in some unique situations concerning ground conditions um, and also what our trucks are supposed to do out there. We have ancillary equipment mounted on many of our trucks, which is where the PTO will come into it. So going into those conditions, intentionally going off-road to these construction sites, we put ourselves in situations where we can get stuck very easily, whether that be mud, snow, just loose gravel, loose dirt that's been churned up because of construction activity. So we're going to go over how to use the diff and the power divider so that you can avoid getting stuck. Now we also use our trucks in different ways. Uh, for large parts of our days, our trucks are more like construction equipment. They're not out on the roads. They're on construction sites, just moving dirt on site, never going, going on the road. And that's where the PTO um, will enter into it because the PTO is what operates our dump boxes, any ancillary equipment. You'll see it on a lot of uh, specialty type trucking. So we'll go over that too. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the differential lock or the diff. If you ever hear anybody or myself in the rest of this video refer to it as the diff, it's the same thing, it's just slang for it, okay? We're gonna go over what it does, what it's for, and how to use it. Um, essentially what a differential lock does, it will require all of the wheels and all the tires on a single axle to spin at the same time, to spin at the same speed. So when you run into these issues with traction issues, again, loose material, ice, that type of things, the wheel with less resistance, the wheel that's in a gravel pile or on a sheet of ice will spin and spin and spin and do nothing. It won't catch while the other wheel that's got all the traction on it won't do anything. There's no power going. It's in these instances that you need to lock in the differential or lock in the diff. There's usually a switch on the uh, dash. It's as simple as that. We'll put some pictures of various types of switches. Each truck type, each truck model is a little bit different of what the switches look like. Um, they may say, um, it will never probably say diff. That's just slang, like I said. But it may say uh, traction control diff, things like that. Always look at the manual or ask somebody, your trainer who knows of exactly what switch does what because you're only allowed a three or four words on a switch to know exactly what it does. So look in your manual, find things like that because they're going to be a little different depending on what make or model of a truck you're in. Once you've stopped, everything's kind of slowed down and there's no movement, no spinning. You just hit the switch, give it a, give it a second, just a second, and it'll lock in. And at that point, you can just apply the steady pressure, the power of the truck, all wheels will be spinning, and you sh hopefully should be able to free yourself, okay? Never, ever, never try to engage it, try to engage the diff when one wheel is spinning, okay? That's, uh, that's got bad news written all over it, frankly. But once the truck is free from those conditions and you are back on solid fo footing, turn off the diff, okay? It can be very bad cause a lot of damage if you continue to leave that on for an extended period of time or you're running that thing at road speed okay so once you don't need it turn it off that's very important to avoid causing a lot of damage and the way you turn it off is the exact same way you turn it on slow down stop let the engine settle down a little bit let everything settle down and just flip the switch back give it literally probably less than a second and it'll be off and it's as simple as that Okay, now we're gonna talk about something very, very similar. It's a differential, but it's a different type of differential. It's called the inner axle differential. Slang you're gonna hear for it is power divider. So whenever you hear power divider, this is what we're talking about. We learned about the regular differential that allows all the wheels on one axle to go at the same rate, no matter what, which is contrary to the way the truck's usually set up, okay? What the uh, power divider is going to do is actually move power to different axle groups entirely, okay? Um, not every truck is gonna have one of these, certainly. This is for trucks that have multiple drive uh, axles on them, like this one right here. Now, on most trucks, not all, 
Um, most of your power is actually coming from the front drive, drive axle. Okay? It's, that's what's usually doing most of the work. The power divider is going to do, if you switch that in, it's going to distribute power equally to everything here. Okay? Bo both axles. Where this will come into play is if you're ever high centered and you got an axle hanging entirely in the air or you got an entire axle group from one, from one side of the truck to the other that's just spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, if you're on a surface that's slick, gravel, mud, any, any of the conditions where you would have needed the regular diff, you can need the uh, power divider as well. But power divider is a little more touchy than the regular diff and there's, there's some quirks to it certainly. Um, first of all, never ever use the power divider over 25 miles per hour. You will tear up all kinds of stuff in there if you do that. Okay, just that's that's not that's there's no gray area to that rule. There's no exception to that rule. Just do not ever do it. Okay, and don't. What's different about the power divider too, in relationship to the regular diff, you can't use it once you've already lost traction. You got to put it on beforehand. Okay, so if you're entering an area, this isn't the best example, but something like this with thicker gravel maybe where the, there's a high likelihood you're going to lose some traction on one of the, the axles or snow or something like that, put it on before you get into that area, okay? Because once you've lost the traction, it, it's too late for that. But again, never above 25 miles per hour. The power divider acts more, acts more as a preventive measure so you don't get stuck. So that's why you can only use it before you get into those conditions. Once you're stuck, power divider is going to do you very little good. And to put the power divider on when you're stuck and try to rock yourself out, you're just going to tear things up and you're not going to get out anyway. It is a preventative measure so you don't get stuck. And so you can maintain control in icy conditions, slow speed icy conditions, and things like that. You'll need to be going very slow, preferably stop, let the engine settle down again. And again, it's just a switch on the dash. Each truck, each make is a, is a little bit different, so you have to get to know your truck. Look in the uh, manual, talk to your trainer, things like that. So once you've used it, you went through this area, this sand area, this rock area, this loose dirt area, this slick area down the road or something like that, and you can now get back up to road speeds you don't need anymore. As soon as you do that, as soon as you can, turn it off. Again, can't go over 25 miles per hour, but that's not true. You can do it exactly once and then you're gonna know why you can't do it because it's gonna tear everything up. So as soon as you don't need it, slow it down, stop, and turn it off. This one, leaving it on, will cause serious damage almost immediately if, if you push it too hard. They're not made to go on for extended time. They're certainly not made to go at anything approaching road speed. So as soon as you don't need it, as soon as you can get by of having most of your power come from right there, turn it off and everything will go back to normal. But that's what it does. It, it's a lot like the diff. It just distributes the power in a different way. Okay?